Okay, so Bob, what is it about the Volvo that you think draws consumers into the CT premium segment? Well, Siobhan, as you know, Volvo has always had a very strong presence in the safety market. But with the C30, they're trying to attract a more youthful buyer. This edgy R design version, which is a three door version, really hits that mark pretty well. And with the five cylinder turbocharged engine, puts it in a performance category very close to the BMW. Interesting. So Charles, what are the design elements that draw consumers to the CT? Well, it also has aggressive styling and it's fun to drive. The CT is better fit and finish. And because of the five door design, it's easier to get in and out of. That's good too. So, Bob, what else can you tell me about the Volvo's performance features? Well, as we mentioned, the C30 really approaching the BMW's performance numbers. This model comes standard with a six-speed manual transmission. However, this R-Design version comes with a five-speed automatic transmission, which uses Geartronic shifting. And that helps it get 21 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway using premium fuel. It also uses a strut tower brace, to help stiffen up the body and give it a much more sporty feel when driving. Okay, so Charles, what about the CT? Well, as I mentioned, we have a choice in drive modes. We also have a performance damper that aids in handling as well as noise and vibration. We also have a hybrid transmission that's smooth and efficient. And for gas mileage, you get 43 miles per gallon city, 40 on the highway, and all on regular gas. On regular gas? Nice. But. Volvo is known for safety, so Bob, can you tell me a little bit more about the safety features this vehicle offers? Sure, Siobhan. Uh, in addition to the six standard airbags and numerous other safety features that Volvo offers in the C30, it has some new innovative things also that I'd like to show you on the inside of the car. So one of the things that they offer are anti-submarining front seats, which means that the occupants are protected better from going underneath the dash and a frontal impact. That's a nice feature. Uh, they also have advanced uh, brake lights on the vehicle. So on an emergency stop, the brake lights actually flash instead of just coming on solid, which gives the people behind you a better warning that you're making a panic stop. And they've included an optional blind spot system also that gives you a little warning if you're trying to change lanes and there may be a car in your blind spot that you didn't see. Gives you a little extra warning to prevent you from turning into that vehicle. These are some really good, nice features in the C30 that are being offered in this model. Okay, thank you. So Charles, does the CT have any similar safety features? Yes, it does. It has front knee airbags that do the same job as the anti-submarine seats as the C30 has. We also have LED brake lights that light up faster than conventional bulbs to alert drivers behind you if you're in a panic situation as well. We also have standard safety connect on the CT. But available, we have pre-collision and backup camera that's not even offered on the C30. How does the Volvo stack up when it comes to comfort and luxury? Well, Siobhan uh, has several nice features. One is a smart access key that allows me to get in the vehicle and lock the vehicle without having to remove the key from my pocket or purse. However, once you're in the vehicle, you'll still need to place the key in the ignition to start it. It has seating for four on the inside. Uh, the standard seating surfaces are a Ecotex uh, material, which is a, a new synthetic material. This is the R-Design material uh, in the vehicle, which is a combination of leather and Flextex, which is a, a two-tone system and kind of a youthful, uh, sporty look. It also has a uh, navigation system as, that's available on this vehicle. And the remote is actually uniquely placed behind the steering wheel on this for controlling the navigation. So those are several features that are quite interesting on this vehicle. Quite unique. And Charles, what about the CT? Well, let's take a look. Well, the interior is more refined and comfortable, as you can see. And it also has a seating for five. This year, we have a new material called Nulux for the seating covers, and we also have available perforated leather. The smart access system is a whole lot more convenient for this vehicle because I really don't have to pull the key out of my pocket to start the car. Makes it nice. Then the remote touch for the navigation system is a whole lot easier to use and easier to find than what we have on the C30. I bet it is.